What is iStent Inject? How does it differ from the first generation iStent? Where and how does it work? Want to know what you need to know about the new iStent Inject in the next few minutes? Well, keep watching to get answers so you can confidently learn step-by-step step about the latest glaucoma innovations and reduce MIGS overwhelm. This video was in part supported by Glaucos. Hello, and welcome to the iGlaucoma YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Constance Okeke, glaucoma specialist, cataract surgeon, and performer of over 5,000 MIGS surgeries over the last decade. I have a passion for teaching others about glaucoma and MIGS in ways that are easy and engaging. Today, I'm excited to share with you the first video of the new eye glaucoma series called MIGS University, where we're all about learning innovation step by step. The first MIGS procedure we will be introducing in our video series is on Einstein Inject. Today, our focus is on the what, where, and how. If you like what you see so far, click the like button below the video and be sure to subscribe to the iGlaucoma YouTube channel so you won't miss any of the videos in the MIGS University series. Let's dive in. So first up, the what. What is Eisen Inject? It's a new microinvasive glaucoma surgery or MIGS device from Glaucos that was FDA approved in 2018 for the surgical management of mild to moderate open angle glaucoma. It is approved to be performed in conjunction with cataract surgery and not as standalone. The eye stent inject design differs from the first generation eye stent in several ways. First, there are two stents with one injector, not just one stent. Second, the design of the eye stent inject is unique. It's smaller, nearly half the size of the first generation eye stent and it's shaped like a mushroom with a central inlet and multiple outlets that allow for optimization of flow and collector channel access. Third, the placement of the Einstein Inject into the trabecula meshwork is much more straightforward and intuitive with a forward push and press approach that will likely deliver an easier learning curve. Now, the where and how does the Einstein Inject work? Well, the action is in the angle and the target tissue is the trabecular meshwork. By securely placing the two Einstein injects at least two or more clock hours apart, the long-term patency and access to outflow through Shem's canal allows for the arcs of flow that can span five to six clock hours. This results in effectively lowered IOP for lengthy periods of time. Did you follow with me the whole way? If you did, let me know in the comments by writing excited about inject. Awesome. And if you want to know what you need to know about what to expect in terms of success rates and results of Eisen Inject, the steps to performing the Eisen Inject surgery, and the when to use the device and in which patients, well, stay tuned for the next videos in the Eisen Inject series of MIGS University, learning innovation step by step. Also, stay tuned to the end for access to a special gift for those of you who have watched the whole video series and like myself, love access to a review guide. If you like the video, please let me know by pressing the like button. If you have a friend or colleague who can benefit from knowing more about Einstein Inject and help decrease their MIGS overwhelm by enrolling in MIGS University, be sure to share the video. And if you don't wanna miss the next upcoming video in the series, make sure you subscribe to iGlaucoma and click on the bell to be notified when it comes out. Now, one more request. We'd like to hear from you. Who are you? Ophthalmologist, optometrist, resident, fellow, intern, medical student, or even staff? We'd love to know. So take the short quiz in the card above and let us know who you are. That's all for now. Thanks for watching iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place where glaucoma innovation is made easy for eye care professionals.